Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the Chanel Sublimage Le Teint Foundation. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And also don't forget to enter my giveaway. Go down in the description box and click on the link that says enter giveaway here. I am doing a giveaway of the Chanel Cruise Collection makeup collection. So let's dive right in. So I was very, very lucky and my wonderful Chanel advisor Miriam gifted me a couple samples of the Sublimage foundation and she's also very nice and gave me a little sample of the little applicator brush here. I'm not sure if this is the same size as the one you get when you buy the actual foundation but it's actually really nice it's the brush is like incredibly soft which is like it feels nice when you're applying it so normally I prefer to use a beauty blender to blend out the foundation but this little brush actually works very well so I didn't have to go ahead and buy the actual foundation I'm going to be talking about the samples that I used here she gave me a couple of these I think I have two and there's actually like a surprising amount of product in here because it is a foundation so you don't need like a whole lot to um, you know get the coverage I'm gonna go ahead and put in some footage of me applying the foundation just so you guys can have an idea of how it applies so let's go ahead and talk through some of the descriptions some of the claims that the Chanel the uh, Chanel the foundation has so this is the Sublimage Latte foundation it says ultimate radiance generating cream foundation so the Sublimage line is a skincare line in Chanel a Sublimage line is like the one that is the global like and global anti-aging firmness wrinkles like just youthful beautiful skin it is also the most expensive one of course so from my understanding this foundation is supposed to be infused or have some sort of ingredients that are in the regular um, anti-aging line and now is in the foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and read off of the website here so I don't get anything wrong. As far as composition, it says that it is intense vanilla planifolia water, derives strength and vitality to the skin while preserving its quality. So the vanilla planifolia is the main ingredient in the Sublimage line that's supposed to be global anti-aging. So there is water derivatives of that in the foundation. Diamond powder encapsulated in silicone beads and combined with synthetic mica reflects light in a spectacular way and offers incomparable radiance. So let's read the description of the product. An ultimate radiance generating cream foundation for, an, for a sublime experience of light day after day. Extremely sensorial. Its luscious and lightweight cream emulsion offers a second skin sensation. The complexion is even and radiant with vitality. Skin is incredibly soft, supple and moisturized. Adjustable coverage from light to medium, suitable for all skin types. Let's talk about the product itself. When it comes out of the tube, it definitely does feel a bit thicker it isn't fluid or runny when you apply it on your face it, it just like, sits there until you blend it out i have the shade in 30 here and, and it does have that light vanilla scent that the rest of the sublimage skincare line has like that light floral vanilla scent it's still there but it isn't like too heavy like as soon as it like blends in like the scent is gone so it's not like overpowering or anything and the description of it being light to medium is very accurate it is more light and you can build it up i only used one layer today but i think i think it was perfectly fine you can definitely build it up but since it is a cream it feels like a little bit thick to be applying like more than one layer but i do like the finish it's very luminous it's very dewy um i have normal to dry skin so it does say that it's for all skin types i'm not sure how this would work on someone with oily skin or normal to oily skin but the sublimage skincare line like i said is the anti-aging line so it's geared or targeted more towards mature skin so if you have mature skin you're more likely to be dry or dehydrated so that's probably why it has more of a luminous dewy finish i like it um at the end of the day it doesn't feel greasy or oily it just feels like luminous and pretty the wear on the foundation is pretty normal it says here that it's 12 hour hydration and long lasting comfort my test is to see if there are little cracks around the smile lines i did notice some very fine ones at the end of the day but that is kind of what happens to me like regardless of what makeup i'm wearing so that's not like a flaw of the foundation that's just like my face and what it does it definitely feels very hydrating very soft very um nourishing um it does leave like a really nice pretty luminous finish to the skin it does make your skin look really pretty like it's very pretty and i 
I know, I know. I wish I could say it's like, it's garbage, it's terrible, but like, it actually is really nice. However, there's a couple little issues that I have with the foundation. On the Chanel Canada website, there are only six shades um, available. And the 30, the one that I'm wearing today, is the second darkest. That's crazy. I mean, I could wear, I could easily wear the 40 at the end of the summer, so that just, that, that, what? Like, that's nuts. Like, that is really crazy. They need to have, like, way more shades, but I feel like in Canada, there's been a lot of issues with brands not extend, like, I know that, like, there are a lot of brands that don't have very inclusive shade ranges, but I feel like in Canada, it's even worse. I don't know why. I don't know if they think that, like, they're not going to sell. Whatever. Anyway, that's a whole other thing for a whole other video. Also, um, did I mention the price? Do you want to know how much it is? Yes. One eighty-five Canadian plus tax. That is one hundred and eighty-five dollars Canadian plus tax. No. I feel like for that much money, I could get like an eyeshadow palette and then like a lipstick and eyeliner for that much. You know what I mean? But that being said, it is really good. So I'm conflicted. It definitely is light. Like it's not like a super high coverage foundation. If you are looking for something that's gonna be like super pigmented and like super opaque and like high coverage, this might not be for you. If you're someone who loves like a more natural finish, if you love something dewy and luminous, and you have two hundred dollars, two hundred and ten dollars to spend on like a foundation, I'm really curious to see how this would work on an oily skin because it is so dewy and luminous. Which I live for dewy and luminous because in my mind that means like youthful, but if you have oily skin, that's kind of an issue. If you have oily skin and you've tried this foundation, please let us know what your thoughts are down in the comments. I really like this foundation. It's really pretty. I love the smell. I love the finish. I love how luminous and dewy it is. That being said, I did not spend the money to purchase it. I just was very, very lucky and got a couple samples, so I've been able to use it for a few weeks. If you are on the fence, if you if this is an item that you've been thinking of, if you've been like kind of eyeing this and you're like, should I, should I not? Maybe this review will help illuminate some of the mystery behind this foundation. But yeah, it is really good. I'm sorry. It's very, very good. I wish I could tell you that it was garbage, but it's not. It's actually like amazing, so sorry. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. I'm sorry. I feel bad when I'm like, this product is like stupidly expensive, but it's amazing. Because I'm like, because I know myself, whenever I see like a review on something that's like really expensive and it's good, I'm like... I'm gonna go buy it then. But <laughs> I feel like this is how I felt when I did like the review on the Clé de Peau concealer. Because that one was like really expensive for a concealer and I was like, oh my god, why is this so good? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I always appreciate you guys watching my videos. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And also don't be shy to enter that giveaway. I'm giving away an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, and an eyeliner from the Chanel Cruise Collection. It's a pretty cool giveaway, so go ahead and click on that. So I think that's all I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.